Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter four is ocean levels. Okay, so assuming the ocean level, uh, ocean's level is ocean, the yeah, ocean's level is currently rising at about 1.6 millimeters per year. Write an application that displays the number of millimeters that the ocean will have risen each year for the next 25 years. Okay, so we've been told that per year, each year, okay, the ocean rise, like, rises 1.6 millimeters, okay? So 1.6 millimeters per year. So create an application that displays the number of millimeters that the ocean will have risen each year. So the second year it's going to rise basically 1.6 times two times a year, which is what, 3.2 millimeters. And then the third year it's going to you know be three times 1.6 millimeters. And the fourth year it's going to be four times 1.6 millimeters, all the way to 25. But we need to use a loop to basically show all those details. So each year, how many, what's, the, what's the ocean level rise? All the from year one all the way to year twenty five. All right. So first of all, let me explain how we're going to do drive this formula. Although it's straightforward because we know that f for each year, it's it rises one point six millimeters. So f if it's for twenty five years, we have to multiply twenty five by one point six to know the sea, uh, ocean level rise in twenty five years. If we wanted to know the ocean level rise for the fifth year, we multiply five by 1.6 millimeters to know the ocean level rise for that for the fifth year and we can do that for any particular year But let me just explain it's using ratio and proportions just so you know it's clear it's clear to everyone so I'm going to use comments to do that right so it said that for each year we are having There's a there's an ocean level rise of 1.6 millimeters, right? So if um, If one year, okay, so if one year is equal to let's say 1.6 millimeters here if one year is equal to 1.6 millimeters then let's say five years right five years I'm just I'm just illustrating here so then let's put this here then five years is going to be equal to what five years is going to be equal to what all right so this is how ratio and proportion works. So let me just copy this, and I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a second. So if one year is equal to 1.6 millimeters, then five years is equal to what? Now, this is how ratio and proportion works. If, mo if less, more divide. If more, less divide. If you, you know, just, just keep, keep that in mind. If less, more divide. If more, less divide. Meaning, if one year gives us 1.6 millimeters then five years obviously will give us more millimeters we don't know yet but we know it's going to give us more milita more millimeters because five years is, is bigger than one year so in that case if five years is going to give us more okay so if more then less divide and what i mean by less divide is the lesser number of these two which is one divides five so that means it's going to be five divided by one and then you always end up multiplying by what's on the right. So it's going to be five, one, five divided by one times 1.6. Okay. So because five years gives us more, if more, then less divide. Lesser number of these two, which is one, divides five. So it's going to be five divided by one times 1.6. Let's say this was, let's say, half a year, which is, let's say, 0 0.5 years, which is six months. Um, six months, right? So if one year gives us 1.6 millimeters then 0 0.5 obviously is going to give us less millimeters right because we know 0 0.5 years is less than one year so if one year gives us 1.6 0 0.5 is going to give us less millimeters if less more divides so the way we should proportion works is if more less divides if less more divides so over here we know 0 0.5 years is going to give us less millimeters so if less then more divides more divides meaning the bigger number of these two which is one year divide 0 0.5 so it's going to be 0 0.5 divided by 1 times 1.6 you always end up multiplying the result of the division here times 1.5 I mean 1.6 1.6 here now both ways you realize that we are always dividing by 1 and multiplying by 1 1.6 whether this no, the number of years here is, is big or small now initially when it was five years because five years was given us more if more, less divide. So if more, less divide, we're dividing by the lesser number of these two. Five divided by one times 1.6. We were dividing by one and multiplying by 1.6. Okay? We are always dividing by one and multiplying by six. That's what that's what I want to illustrate. So we were dividing by one, multiplying by six. Now, when it was 0 0.5, we were also dividing by one and multiplying by six. So we see, because 0 0.5 is obviously going to give us less millimeters, 
if less then more divides we are dividing the bigger number of these two which is one more more divides okay the more number of these two basically we are dividing one well, we, are, we are dividing 0 0.5 by 1 and we are always multiplying by 1.6 remember we always we end up multiplying always by 1.6 so that so that, that's what i'm trying to say no matter what this this number is we always end up multiplying by what's on the right which is 1.6 we before first of all we divide by one and multiply 1.6 which is the same as the number itself in 1.6 so i know this is um you know most of you probably know this but this is how, how come we are dividing the number of years by the 1.6 and this is how ratio and proportion works and you can apply this to everything that uses ratio, ratio and proportion everything um to basically get the formula to or how to get the, the, the real answer okay so we're always dividing by one and multiplying by 1.6 Okay, this is just to illustrate, to illustrate it. All right, so I'll, um, I'll just keep that. Um, I can I can keep this here just to help, or maybe I'll just delete it. I'm sure we all know this. Uh, or we've seen it. We've seen it now. So I'm going to start with a loop, um, and then loop from year one all the way to 25, basically. We are looping from one all the way to, year one all the way to 25, because it wants to know the C rise for each year all the way to 25, right? So I'm going to create a for loop and I'm going to create a target variable. And I'm starting from the current year, which is year one. I mean, um, so current year. So for current year in range, I'm going to specify a range. And the range I'm specifying is, oops, I keep on typing stuff. The range I'm specifying here is 25 years. Um, should I do 25 years? I'm actually starting from year one all the way to um, to 26 okay to 26 the reason why I'm, I'm increasing the 20 25 by 1 is because now if I don't if I just make this 25 I, I just make this from 1 to 25 now this is actually going to go from year 1 to 24 25 is the upper limit which is not included so it's the upper limit right but it's not included if I if I say one from you start from year one all the way to this is the ending the ending limit but it's not included so if i say start from year one all the way to five it means start from year one all the way to four basically always it's one less than the ending limits the ending limits what you type here is not included it's always one less than the ending limits that is included so if i type in 25 here i'm moving from year one all the way to 24 i don't want that so i'm typing in 26 so from year one start from year one all the way to 25 the, so each time it's going to start from one or two well, all the way to 25 and each time that number is going to be stored in current year and, and it's going to be used in the loop and it's going to be increased by one it's going to be stored in current year used in the loop all the way to 25 start from one all the way to 25 so current year is going to hold hold the numbers one all the way to 25 as this loop is iterating and incremented by one each time it iterates so current year is going to hold that value and Basically, what I want to do in the loop is I want to calculate the sea level rise um, for that for that particular year. We know current year is going to it's keeping track of that particular current year. So the first time it iterates, current year is year one. The second time it iterates, current year is two. The third time it iterates, current year is three. All the way to twenty five, because it started from one to twenty five. So current year is already holding the the data for or the variable for the current year. So now all we have to do is calculate the sea level rise for that for that particular year, for that particular year. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm, I'm going to call it sea level um, rise. Sea level rise is going to be equal to, now remember in the formula we, we, we had above, we were always dividing by one and multiplying by 1.6. You're always dividing the um, the what were the current year um, by one. We are always dividing the current year by one and multiplying by one point six. So we have the current year stored in the current year because current year is keeping track of the current the particular that that, that particular current year as as the list loop is iterating. So current year the sea level rise for the sea level rise for that particular current year is going to be the current year times one point six. Uh, millimeters basically and so basically that's going to calculate the sea level rise now once we are done we can just basically print print the details for that particular year so let's go ahead and print first of all i'm going to pass 
some values into this argument, uh, into, into some values as arguments into this print function. The first argument I want to pass into this print function is the current year. Display to me the current year, basically display the current year, and also display the sea level rise. Level rise. Now I forgot to type an L here. And I forgot to make this a capital letter. So, so yeah. Display the current here in a sea level rise. I want you to space it out with um with a tab. Okay, so I'm going to pass in a tab here as a, as a as a second argument. Backslash t. Now backslash t together is a tab. It's an it's a tab character. Basically creates a tab. Both characters backslash and a t together is the tab character. It creates a tab when it, when it displays these results. By default, the print function separates the argument you pass to it with a space. So when this is displayed, it's going to display as current year space a tab space C level rise. Okay, so that's how it's going to display each iteration. It's going to display the current year and, and the current year C level rise. Now when it displays up uh, above the loop, I want to go ahead and create a header for it. But we can we can go ahead and run this just to see what happens before we, you know then we add a header to it later on. So let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it where I normally save the Python the Python program. And I will um, save it here somewhere. Actually it's on the desktop. So yeah. So I'll create, I'll create a new folder for it. <coughs> I call this ocean levels. And then I'll save this as ocean levels of pi. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Okay. So now we can see that it's starting from year one all the way to twenty-five. And it's calculating the sea level rise for each year. Now we know some, some values actually you know have a lot of decimal places, so we need to format it, right? So you can see one one point six times 2 is 3.2, 1.6 times 3 is 4.8, pre, pre, pretty much. But let, let's format the values, right? So over here, the third value, C, C level rise, I want to format it by, I'm going to call the format format function, and the format function takes two arguments. It takes what you want to format, and the second argument is basically how you want it formatted. It wants you to specify a format. So because C level rise is a float, I'm going to type F. I want it formatted as a float. And because I want it formatted to two decimal places, before the type, before the F, I'm going to type in point 0.2 to represent two decimal places, meaning round, round this float to two decimal places. If I, if I wanted it rounded to three, three decimal places, I'll say point 0.3. Now, bef because I want it formatted to two decimal places, I'll say, um, say point 0.2. So round it to two decimal places. And what I want to round is sea level rise. So let's just run this again and see how it's, how it's displayed now. So we can see now everything is rounded to two decimal places here. Now the only thing it's missing is a header. So let's create a header for this. Um, we don't want to put the header in the loop. We want to put the header above the loop so that it's displayed once. Or if we put it in the loop, then it will be displayed each time the loop iterates. So I'm going to create a header by just calling the print function and I'll pass in a couple of arguments. So the first thing I want to display is basically the head the header for the, the this column, which is basically the year, right? So I want to display a string and saying this is the year. And the second argument I want to display is basically the C um, level rise. So also another string saying the C level rise. Now I want to separate them with a tab so that you know there's a space in between them so either here either the ending of year or the beginning of sea level rise i'm going to do it at the end of year i want to create a tab just like i created a tab here backslash t and then i'll run this now let's see how this is displayed oops it's not displayed oh it's actually displayed it was it was hiding above okay so now we can see that it's working now i want to i want to underline it so it looks good so right after the sea level rise i'm going to type in a backslash n to create a new line. So in, um, immediately after after you're after you're done printing C level rise, right here, right here, 
I'm typing backslash n, which is going to basically take the keza to the next line. It's going to immediately take the keza to the next line. Anything that comes after the new line character is going to be displayed on that next line. Okay, before these. Okay, before the basically these these values. So it's going to. So let, let me just let me just do an example and you see. So I, I'm just typing a couple of dashes to underline here. A couple of dashes to underline here. So when I a couple of un, un, um, dashes to underline here, I'm going to create a tab and a couple of under, under, underlines to underline a couple of dashes to underline sea level rise. And then now another new line character taking the character to another um, to the next line. So when I run this now, I'll, I'll explain in a second. So we can see that. It's it's looking good now. So he created a year, he created a tab, sea level rise, sea level rise here. And then it, it then I typed in a new line character, meaning right from here it took the keyword to the next line. And then all it took the position to the next line. It displayed any anything that came after it came out came on came after that new came basically after that new line on that new line. So these these are the dashes. The tab is this tab over here. These dashes are basically these these dashes underlining the sea level rise. And it created another new line character, meaning it took the kizzer from here all the way to where one no all the way to here basically. But by default, okay, by default the print function ends with a new so basically the kizzer was here when I when I typed in the new line character here. But by default, the print function always ends with another new line character. So that, that's why the case moved another slot down here. But it looks good here, so I'll leave it like that. So by default, the uh, print function ends with a new line character. I, I typed another new line character. If I, did, if I didn't want to create two, line, two new line characters, I could have and deleted this. And by default, by default, after it's done displaying this, I'm not going to ca call a new line character for it to move all the way here before displaying that. By default, the print function does that. The print function ends with a new line character. So after it's done with this line, it's going to end with a new line character, meaning it's going to take the keza or the position to the next line like this, and then the one is going to follow, follow fr on this line, on this line. Now there's not going to be any new line character myself. I'm not, I'm not going to type in any backslash n myself, but I'm going to right after here the print function is going to create a new line character, which means the position is going to move over here. And basically, the ones, one, basically these these values are going to be displayed starting from this line. So when I run it now, that's what's going to happen. You can see that. You can see that now it's been shifted up a little bit. So right after here, because the print function always ends with a new line, it created a new line, and then the values um, followed right after that, right after the dashes, right after after the new line that was created. Okay, so. We can see it's working. We can see that it's been, everything has been rounded. We can see the sea level rise for each particular year, all the way to 25 years. So on the 25th year, the sea level will rise 40 um, millimeters. Now you can add the, the millimeters you know, just so it looks good if you want. But f the way it's looking, the way it's looking now, it's it's working. It's working just fine. And um, yeah. All right. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Um, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right. Bye-bye.